That is Denmark. This is the southern part of Sweden. And we are here to hook up with the biggest star on the women's side in this country, Amanda Girdo. Come with us. I don't know you one. I don't know why we're here. Is this the right place? Jasper. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> what are you doing at the beach? <laughs> what are we doing here? I wanted to show you where I grew up. <laughs> okay. Hi. Where are we? We are in Jungelsen. Actually, as you see at, at my home golf club. <laughs> yeah, you used to be a golf player, yeah? Yeah, I was. <laughs> you, you were good as well? Uh, yeah, quite good. I was one of the top players in my age. So yeah, it oh, was good. But now, of yeah, of course. But now, not so much. <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? Uh, we actually have to go because I have practice. Okay. Not golf practice. I have paddle. <laughs> now. Nice. I go with you. <laughs> yeah, just come along. Right. Yes. In the middle of nowhere, yeah. Yeah. This is this is uh, Hellviken <laughs> or Vellinge, as it's called. Is this your home club? Uh, it was. Now I'm PDL, but this is where I started to uh, play. Why do you think she adapts so fast to this new sport? Uh, well, there is a talent. Of course, she's competitive, but she also she has, I mean, she has a good feeling for for, for balls and eye and hand coordination. So even when she played tennis, uh, our neighbor is a tennis coach, and he said like she has a fantastic technique only when she was ten. So I think she she has this eye and hand coordination that she adapts, and then of course she she's uh, smart. She can read the game. So regardless if it's golf or tennis or paddle, she, she adapts in that sense uh, in order to, to understand uh, how to play. How would you describe her mentality as a sportswoman? Uh, well, as she is in private life. I, I mean, I think that's the success of her, that she doesn't uh, change personality on and off the court. So she is, is as she is on court, as she is private. So she's full of energy, full of speed, always, uh, always a laughter, always something behind her ear. Uh, pranks, whatever. So, yeah, it's enjoyable. So it, it's great fun. Um, so that's that's. Uh, I think that's a big, a, a big uh, component in in a, a success that you can't change your personality. You have to be the one that you are, and then you have to make it work. So I guess it's not only paddle to become a top player. No, no. Of course, it's a lot of physical training as well. Uh, I've been doing a lot of it in Barcelona now, but now I'm home and I'm back at my my home gym as well. So yeah, no, it's gonna be good to be back here. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you have to go to the gym? Is it on a daily basis? Yeah, once every day, uh, like six times a week. Maybe have one one rest day, depending on the schedule. If it's like a tournament uh, week or if it's resting. Like now this week, I don't have any tournament, but I have next week, and I'm now I'm recharging and like getting my uh, how do you say breath yeah. again because I've been a bit sick. Do you enjoy it or is it something you have to do? Yeah, I mean it's something I've never really been like a training person. I've always like figured stuff out on court but 
as I reach a higher level, I notice in my game that uh, with my fitness and with everything, it, everything's connected. So if I have a good day, it's often because I've done the work before or have a good tournament. I've been working hard the weeks before. So yeah, everything's connected. How can you feel that you get stronger in which moments on the court? Uh, a lot of the times I feel like I'm, I'm quite fast by myself. Uh, so, but the thing I'm working on is like turning and make fast movements, uh, especially in the corners. So I've been noticing that I can get out from positions a lot quick, quicker and get to places a lot quicker. So this is your favorite place? Yeah, this is my little smultronställe <laughs> in, uh, in uh, Hölviken. Have you set main goals for your career? Like big, big goals for the future? Of course. I want to become one of the best players in the world. Uh, I, want to, I want to travel a lot. I want to become, uh, yeah, make my ranking better and yeah, just training a lot. Uh, but I think it's important to focus on what's, what I can do right now to, to make that happen. So I have those goals in my head, but for me it's more like uh, to enjoy every week of training, to enjoy every training, uh, to always feel like I want to learn new stuff and everything. That's my biggest goal and my biggest uh, I wouldn't say obstacle, but to to feel like I do this for a purpose I'll always. It's important uh, and to like find the things that make me happy in this life. I think that's a big goal for me to just enjoy and really live it. Where are you in five years when it comes to your paddle and your life? I think I will be in Spain still. Uh, with the paddle and personal life. Uh, I hope to have studied something, but with my paddle, I hope to play a lot of World Paddle Tour, being the top name in the world, and yeah, just fighting every, every day. Man, you're never gonna leave me alone. Yes, Bert, Paddle never sleeps. Come join us. You can still learn a lot by watching World Class Paddle. Or we can even do some exercises that suits uh, here in the hotel room or at home. For example, look at Tapia. Watch how easy he kicks the ball out. You can do it too. Yeah, you got a point. Maybe I should switch to backhand. Yeah. <laughs> this life is perfect for me. I don't think we need any exercises, do we? Yes, Bear. I never joke about exercise. Yes, Bear. Be quiet. Good work, Bear. Thanks a lot for watching our show. I hope you love. Loco. And also remember to subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications. And of course, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you there. <laughs>